Hello everybody and welcome to Freedom Ranch Homestead. My name is Brooke and I am very excited to fill you in on what has been happening on the ranch the last couple weeks. So as most of you guys know, we were in Wisconsin a couple weeks ago for a family vacation, which was an awesome time. Um, but while we were gone, not a whole lot happened here on the ranch with the building of the log home. And um, that's partially due to the fact that Dan, our builder, is still recovering from his back surgery and definitely getting better every day, hopefully. <laughs> back to work very soon. Um, and the other reason is that our um, plumber, Mickey, has been pretty delayed with his other jobs. So we're hoping that he will get back to work here or get to work here very soon. One of the things that did happen is that Dan's sons, Corbin and Harvey, came with their helper, Ricky, to knock out a section of the log home wall where our fireplace will be. It was pretty excited to see them working. Harvey is a master with the chainsaw and did a great job cutting those straight lines. Once they had cut through everything, Harvey knocked it down. And unfortunately I was in the yurt when it happened, so I missed getting to see it in person. But I tell you, it made a huge bang. So <laughs> I ran out there as soon as I could and I was bummed to have missed it, but I did catch it on my GoPro. So that's a good thing. At least I did get some footage of it happening. Once they knocked it out, Harvey had to cut a little groove in the bottom log so that the electricity wire could be um, kind of put in there and uh, covered up with the zip board that they used. They did a great job framing it out and we're really, really excited to get our new fireplace installed. Um, I think in about another week, the fireplace people are gonna come out to measure. Chuck is also choosing the stones, I should say the big rocks, <laughs> that will be used as our hearth. So um, I'm letting him figure all that out because it's just a little bit over my um, skill set as far as how we're going to line those rocks up and get them nice and even looking but he's got it in his head of what we're going to do so i'm trusting him on that
One of the other things that we got into doing when we got back from Wisconsin was figuring out the interior logs and how we were going to sand them down so that the stripes that are set there from the sun bleaching um, could disappear. Chuck and I are headed back inside of the cabin. We're getting some nice storms today. A couple weeks ago, Chuck and I just went ahead with the um, rugged wood stain and just placed it on top of the stripe to see what would happen. And as you can see, the stripe actually darkened more than the rest of the log, but there is a very noticeable stripe there, which means we need to sand the edges is what we're gonna try first, see if that'll soften it. And then if not, then we have to sand the whole logs. So that would be a lot of work. So we're hoping we can just kind of soften the edges and make it look good. And we shall see, we're gonna test it out today. So we are inside of the closet in the master bedroom because um, we thought we would just kind of do a little bit more experimentation where it was not gonna be obvious to um, everybody who came in. So Chuck is gonna sand down kind of the edges of it. I don't know if it's gonna do much. We're gonna try and just kind of blend it out, but um, we'll see. If something tells me we're gonna to have to sand down the logs completely. I think we, honestly, I think we're gonna be better off Figuring out how to get the color here to match close enough to here that we're okay with it. Yeah, but I don't know. Because it's a major project to sand all this. But let's take a I shot. See what happens. Okay. Yeah. Oh, let me try to blend a little bit. Okay. Here. So here's the plan of attack. Chuck um, tried to smooth out the edges as you saw and it just was not gonna work. It just kind of spread the whiteness or the lightness of the logs even farther. So we have gone back to our original plan and are going to sand down all the logs. Ah, it's gonna be a major job. Bree and Chuck are gonna head into town. Um, they were gonna do a little shopping excursion anyways. But um, Chuck is gonna stop by and the store and see if he can get a belt sander to see if that would kind of help move things along a little bit better. But in the meantime, I'm gonna start sanding with the circular sander and I have decided to start in the master bedroom. So that may take me a couple days. I don't know how long it's gonna take me, but I'm gonna get started today. <laughs> so here we go. As you can see, the circular sander does not make things super even, and um, you still can kind of see the stripe. So I meant to, to say something, if you don't know what the stripe is, um, it is from the boards when they built the log cabin on our other piece of the property, they had to hold the boards up together. So they fastened um, like two by sixes all along the inside of the walls. You can see it better here so that the, um, the logs would not move, that they would stay in place. And we have these all over the downstairs area. So <laughs> um, the sun, this is the darkening is from the sun, from it sitting out there for almost a year, uh, maybe nine months. And, um, and then obviously where the sun did not hit is where the boards were. So the stripe, we don't like, we're really trying to get rid of it and uh, yeah. I think I need a better sander for this. I'm still gonna kind of tackle what I can today and then I'll leave the rest for the um, another part of the week when I have a better sander. One of the things that we are thinking about doing is um, sandblasting it, but our builder Dan said that it could possibly look pretty uneven as well. So um, we're looking into buying a more industrial sander and we'll see you know, how that all works out. But it's, um, it's kind of up in the air right now is what we're gonna be doing in order to get those logs looking nice and uniform so that we can stain them and have them look really good on the interior.
I am currently at the garden picking some corn for dinner. Our first harvest from our garden as far as the corn goes. So I'm excited to try and see how they taste. Okay, look at this. There's like a what in the world? Let me see if I can get that focused. That is a funky looking bug. Dude, I want you off of my food. I am trying to find the best ones to pick. So they're a little small still, but we decided that we would pick some because the deer have been coming and um, helping themselves to the corn. So we're gonna take what we can before those buggers eat everything. I'm in the middle of a cornfield. Very small, but productive. I think this sucker right here is gonna be picked first. Good going, dude. I've never done this before. Just peel it off, I'm assuming. Do a little twist of Rooney. Yeah. That sucker still sucks there. There we go. Yay! Dun dun dun. Can't wait to see how it tastes. Here's a nice size one. You're going down, Mr. Corn. I'm digging you down. Let me see if I can do this properly. Oh my god, I have no idea what I'm doing here. I'm trying to twist it. Ah, this sucker is big. Putting up a fight. If you're wondering what the noise in the background is, that is Gabe and Graham finishing up Gabe's shed. The guys have been hard at work today. They took a break from building the fence to get this done. Let's check it out. <gasps> wow. Oh my goodness, look, you got all this covered up. Oh, wow, that looks fantastic. What a perfect place for shelves. My goodness, a whole year later, that door was already like that, right? Yeah. Okay. And then you guys finished up the ceiling part where it comes in. Oh my goodness, it looks so good. Yeah. And so now you're just working on the um, the ceiling here. Yeah, huh? side, yeah. So I think this is all we're going to do for today once we're done with this. Looks fantastic. Thanks, you guys. Yay. Good work. This is very exciting, isn't it? Watching me do this. <laughs> wow. Isn't that pretty? Can't wait to see what it looks like on the inside. So far, I have gotten four. So we get a couple more in case Graham wants to stay for dinner. I have to say that there's something really cool about coming up and getting your own food. You don't have to go to the store to run to get corn. You can just come up here and pick away. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, we'll give this guy a shot. I'm sure there's an easier way to do this, but maybe not. Maybe I'm doing it correctly for the first time. Who knows? Who knows? But it's looking good. There they are. Can't wait to see what they look like on the inside. We'll do that at home. Here is our corn from the garden getting ready to be cooked. This one, not looking so good. Such is life. Can't wait to boil them and eat them. Yum, yum. Yep. I would say this looks raccoonish. They climb up the stalk, the stalk tips over, and then they munch all the corn. So they are ruining our sweet corn so we're gonna have to pick whatever we get because they'll be back tonight and finish the job a bunch of criminals ah so we got electric fence around here high fence electric these dang coons they found us well this is the second night we've been hit and i wasn't sure if it was a raccoon or a bear didn't look like deer because they this stuff got smashed down and eaten right off off uh the cob but this is more than a single raccoon would do in over two nights. And I have a trail cam picture of pretty large black bear that came very close to this garden last night. So I would say we got hit by a bear. Oh well, until we get a wire up here and we're gonna keep having these kind of issues. So one more project to add to the list, but we still have a few things that are going okay. Tomatoes, looking great. Potatoes. Something tells me there's not going to be a lot under here. Oh, oh yeah, enough for dinner. Not quite. <laughs> I was being sarcastic. Those are little, on, let me dig a little, little teeny guys. 
There we go. Ah. A little more. Look at that. And even some more. <laughs> well, if all those grew to full size, they'd be. Yeah. Let me see. I don't think I got all of them. Watermelons, cantaloupes, zucchini. I have a few things that are doing all right. I do love from the garden are the onions. Put one up here. They are so delicious. Really, really strong and yummy. They add so much flavor to our dinners. So I'm excited to incorporate these in tonight's meal, whatever that's gonna be. One of the things that I have done with the leftover zucchinis are the ones that grew too large that we weren't able to pick in time, especially when we were away in Wisconsin, is that I have been cutting them up and I have been feeding it to the animals, especially the chickens and the pigs, and they absolutely love it. Every time now that I drive up to the chickens, they come running for food and are extremely excited to have some fresh vegetables to eat. I came to the hen house and I couldn't figure out where everybody was. And they were way over there. Here they come. They know that there's some food. Capella, leave them alone. Mr. Rooster, you need to go after her. Okay, let's get you guys food. Look at this. Yay. Hey, Miss Wonkers. Enjoy, guys. Yay, happy day, happy day, I know Kapoon. Good food. Peck away, that's some yummy, yummy zucchini. <laughs> They're all coming now. We gotta go in and see how many eggs they have. Hey, Wonkers. Hey. You like your breakfast? Happy birds. Yeah, that's right. I got lots of eggs. Someone's in there not happy. I'm invading their space. Look at all these eggs. Oh, that's a good size one. Thank you, baby girl. I know. I know. You're not too thrilled that I'm here. I'll leave you alone. Give me, let me get the eggs. Look at these little guys. Oh, my goodness. We just have so many eggs. There we go. Yeah, they were hungry. <laughs> Is that good? Yummy zucchini from our garden. You like it, Waddles? Mm -hmm. Hey, no fighting. There's plenty to share. Hey, baby. Hey, girl. Yeah, is that good? Hey, Waddles, you want some? It's a good zucchini. Oh, Capella. As like we always say, we just truly appreciate y'all watching and we hope that you enjoy the videos. And I promise we will have more log home stuff coming once things get rolling again. Hope you all take really good care and that God may bless you. And um, thanks for watching.